Okay, just gonna fire up my tablet here. Hopefully I can see comments. I could for a little bit last week and then I couldn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, my allergies are really bad. My nasal spray and my puffer don't seem to be cutting it, so. Got my coffee. Oh, somebody jumped on. I'm going to guess Steph. No, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Maybe if I get some coffee into me. It's a little cool here today. <clears throat> Which we're not used to because we've been having a lot of heat lately. So, oh. I'm going to try not to sniffle, but. So I just pulled, I got a bunch of stuff here. Um, and I got three cards prepped. And they're actually really simple cards. Um, I only got the, um, the cards prepped. I didn't, you know, <clears throat> I didn't prep any stamping or anything like that. Um, so, uh... I might use a sentiment from Handmade Wishes. Um, we're going to make a card with Days to Remember. I have not used this much, so I thought I would pull that in. Um, we're going to join that with Marius Moments, and I have the stamps and the dies. Um, I might pull this just because from True Beauty. I have the Stylish Shapes dies. Um, there's a die in here that works really well with the Just Because. I have the contour, the scallop contour dies. Um, we're going to use these on two cards. Um, maybe three. We'll see. And then I thought I would bring in um, Beauty of Friendship for a card. Because I have not used this one either. Um, the dies did not carry over. But the stamp set did. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay. Let me get another sip of coffee into me. I did put like a little, a little stampin' up order in today. I ordered the, <clears throat> I ordered a bundle with a teacup. And I ordered... Um, another stamp set in the annual catalog because um, stamps are 15% off right now. So I ordered another, it's a flowering stamp set. So we'll play around with that when, when I get it. And then I ordered another set of uh, standalone dies. So I didn't want to order too much because um, my quarters I already paid for, but I wanted to use up my um, celebration rewards. So I figured it was a good time to put in a tiny little order to get some new stuff. Okay, so card number one. Um, this is Thick Whip. I was going to say Whisper White. Thick Basic White. Eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. This is, I believe it was Celebration Paper last Christmas? Christmas time. It had all the, the you know, the fox and the, the fun critters. <clears throat> so I have a piece of that. This is retired paper as well. This was with the tree, this, this um, stamp set last year. So I cut out a piece of uh, paper that is four by five and a quarter. <clears throat> this is I can't remember what size I cut this to. Just hold on. This is two and a half by five and a quarter. So it's the same width as my DSP. And then this is the same width, but I cut it 2.75 inches high. Because I wanted a strip of the white. 
<clears throat> this is going to go on the inside and then we're just going to add a sentiment and I have a little bit of um, silver elastic cord. I just found it in my stash so I thought I would pull that in. Uh, your sinuses are bad too? Yeah, mine are really bad. I think my puppy wants to go for a walk but they will have to do it. because I'm busy. <clears throat> okay, so for a sentiment, I thought we would use the scalloped contour dies. And I thought we would stamp it on um I haven't decided if I want to do it on white. Maybe a white, and then we'll we'll cut that out, and we'll pop the sentiment up. But I'm just wondering if I want to layer it to break up that white. We'll see. Uh, I didn't prep, like I said, I didn't prep too hard. But um. I don't have a lot of friendship cards left in my stash, so we're going to do Friendship Refreshes a Soul. We're going to do that. So that's going to go on there. Um, let's get the base of this. I think I'm going to emboss this piece. Add a little bit of texture to it. And um, I think I just want to do it with the painted texture 3D embossing folder. So let's do that. Because uh, the cardstock's kind of plain, so I want to just spruce it up a little bit. I just have Sadie off to the side here. Okay. So that's that. And that Kind of spruce that up quite nicely. Adds a little bit of texture. I don't know. I might want to change that white card base to a colored cardstock. I think it's a little bland, don't you think? Like I want it to pop. Let's see, what colors do I have? I have, I have Granny Apple Green, oh, well, this is uh, Pear Pizzazz. I don't own Granny Apple Green. So, and I already have this kind of. So I just gotta cut it to four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Let's see if that looks a little better. What do you think? Do you think that looks a little better? I don't know. I'm very indecisive today. I don't know. I got I was supposed to have today off, but then I got called into work. So I didn't really have a whole lot of time to prep. Let's just stick with the white, I think. I don't use white card bases very often, so Let's go with my first instinct. I still
still have not found my Stampin' Up Snips. I know they're in my market bag somewhere. Okay. So, we're just going to glue this down. I had my wish list in a book somewhere and I couldn't find it so I tried to remember what was on my wish list but I don't remember so I knew I wanted the tea bundle for sure so I've got that and there's dies in there that I've been wanting for a while so I got those I have so much retired paper. I, I just, I, I want to use it up. And you could do this layout with any, any current designer series paper. I thought the blue and the green would look really nice together. Okay, so I just have a sheet of basic white, so I'm going to just cut out a little I'm gonna cut this out and then we're going to stamp our sentiment on here. So I think this is going to go up here and I'm going to pop this up and I thought I would do um, Night and Navy for my sentiment but I think I'm going to grab my pair of pizzazz and just do a little bit of something in the background. And per perched in a tree. Hi, June. Hi, Jen. Jen got a tattoo today, so she's probably feeling a little, a little sore. But it looked really good. I think we did a really good job on it. And I probably would have tagged along with you, but I got called into work. I would have just brought my crochet with me, right? Okay. I need scrap paper. I just like to protect my work surface. That's all. Next time, you got another tattoo lined up already? I told you they were addictive. You can't just get one. I'm still debating on whether to book another session or see if I'm going to win a session first. Because it would be really cool if I could win a session. Um, do I want to stamp off first? I think I will because I don't want to, I want to be able to see my, I'm just going to, because I got white on white, so I want to break that up a little bit. You, you book it, 
Well, I've been missing a lot of markets lately, so I gotta make some more money first. Okay, so let's stamp the sentiment. I, I do wanna, you know, I'm already itching to get more to my arm. It just looks so unfinished, right? Okay. Try to get this straight. And centered. That's why I like the clear stamps. Because you can see where you're stamping. Okay. So then I thought I would add just a little bit of this with tear and tape. And then pop this up on top. Grab my dimensional, dimensionals, grab my tear and tape, simple, simple card, yeah, okay, so I just want to make sure that's going to get covered. Uh, take your pick. There you are. I mean, I, you know, Jen does the markets with me too. So, um, and we have actually quite a few markets <laughs> signed up and paid for, but I feel like I'm not really getting much stuff made for it. Have a good night, Jen. Thank you for popping on. I'll book it eventually. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, just throw some string on here. Oh, I think I'm, I might need one more piece of tear and tape underneath. You have a good night too. Okay, let's add some ribbon, well, elastic string, I guess. Love the tear and tape. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna pop this up on top. So I'm going to add quite a few because I don't want it to sag. Trying not to sniffle because once I start, I'm not going to be able to stop. How are you, June? You're kind of on time this week. I'm still on card number one. Okay, so this is just gonna go right about here like that. Like that. And then we'll add some bling bling. I don't know, that string is kind of thick. And my, uh, but I think it's on there now, so I'll have to live with it. So we're going to add some bling bling. Okay. I have some of these little metallic pearls left. I want them gone. I'm pretty sure these are retired. So, I'm just going to add three. Because my cording is silver, so. Let's go right 
I don't want to put one on the sentiment. So let's go right here. There. Card number one. I don't know. That's awful. That's awful wavy. But it's a handmade card. And I use dimensional, so I think it looks pretty good. It's simple, but I like it. Okay, so that's card number one. Card number two. We have this is more of the the paper that went with this last year so I have a knight and navy card base I have a basic white insert a strip of the designer series paper and this piece is four by five and a quarter and then I just have this for I'm gonna heat emboss with white and then I'm gonna die cut out my sentiment which is going to be just because from true beauty so let's get that mounted on a stamp uh, just because I like just because because you can use it for multiple occasions and it's kind of you know you could use it for sympathy you could use it for you just want to, you know, tell somebody you're thinking of them. Um, so, I'm going to grab my Versamark. And we're going to grab the white. And my... Oh, embossing buddy. Don't forget your embossing buddy. Very important step. Okay, and I love this font. It's really simple. It's not a big sentiment. It's just subtle. I like it. And I've been using it quite a bit lately because I said you can use it for more than one occasion. Yeah, she says her tattoo is not bothering her, but wait till she uh, goes to bed and has the covers on. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to get loud for a sec. And now, I'm going to run this through Sadie. Like, I love it. I love it. Okay. So, I need another piece of the white. And I should put that back in there so I don't lose it. Oh, look, my envelope is sliced open. It's not good. I'll have to. I wonder what happened there. So, I think 
I don't want to cover up too much of my DSP. So I think I'm going to cut out a piece of white and we're going to stamp, stamp the tree on here. So let's cut this out. And I thought it would be kind of cool to stamp the tree in navy as well. Have it like tone on tone. So let me bring back my scrap. And I, like I said, I had not made these cards in advance, so. Let's see. So I thought I would do the tree in navy. And then maybe we'll do the foliage in navy as well, but stamped off. So maybe I'm, I'm going to grab my balmy blue and see what that looks like. Because I also have Tahitian Tide, but I think that's going to be way too bright. I also have Pacific Point. But I think... Well, you know what? We could play around on my scrap piece of paper here. And then this way we won't mess up that piece. Okay, so I believe this one is the background. And then this one stamp off and then go on top. I don't know. Balmy blue might be too. We'll see. Let's try this. And this might be too vibrant, but I think I like that better. So let's go with that. So we're going to do Pacific Point. We're going to stamp off and then go on top. Actually, I think I might just like it like that and not even put that top layer on. What do you think? Do you like the top layer? Oh, I feel like we have to add a little bit of night and navy, so let's do it. There we go. Okay, I might want to add some dotage to this too because it kind of looks like they got dotage on the, the DSP. But I don't think I want to do it in blue. I 
maybe a gray. still have the dotage on here so do I want to stamp off first I think I do yes just a little bit okay so I'm gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna add our okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. Can you believe it's September fifteenth? Is it fifteenth? The fifteenth? Oh crud, I wanted to glue this on first. Oh well, that's fine. That is fine. I think it's the same width anyway. Yeah. Let's glue this down. Oops, it's almost time for a new glue bottle, I think. Oh, I hear my puppy dog. Can't come in, baby. Sorry. Okay. So I think I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to pop this up. Yes. Okay. Oops. Don't want to glue it upside down. Definitely not. Okay, and then we're going to pop this up, dimensionals, I just had them. Okay, so this I want off the side and right about there. And again, I think I just want to get these used up. I can never get this tacky tape like to come out just a little bit at a time. So, one there, one here, and one down here. And there we go. Like I said, these are very simple cards. Just a little bit of stamping and pretty designer series paper, and your cards are done. Okay, so now I do just want to quickly clean these off and just get them like out of the way here. Okay. And then that'll free up some more of my blocks. And I might keep this dotted around. I, I like it. 
good way to fill white space. Okay, then we don't need the sentiment because we're doing a Christmas card next. Okay. So that is done. Okay. So we're gonna use Days to Remember. I just tried to put my tom my uh take your pick tool back on my glue. Like really, Heather? Really? Okay, so we are gonna use uh Days to Remember and we're gonna use the mer merriest moments. So, I need a sip of my coffee. Okay, so I need this stamp, which is Sunday to Saturday, which I should lay down and then pick up. Because I definitely want that to be straight. Uh, this, I'm going to mount on, I need to mount on a big, a big block. Oh, definitely got to move these out of the way or I'm going to have seed beads all over the place. Okay. Dave, your puppy dog wants out. Don't neglect the puppy. Okay, and so sat Sunday to Saturday, let's see, which is not going to fit on this piece, so I'm going to have to go up a size. And what did I do with my contour dies? So I got to go up. So I'm thinking probably this one here. So let's cut out a piece of white. And I should just make sure that that's going to fit. Yes. Okay. And what did I do with my scissors? I love these dies. And we're actually using these on all three cards. Okay, so. I don't need that anymore. Okay, don't need my horse to mark. Okay, so we have this is from the Painted Christmas designer series paper and the Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper. So I have Evening Evergreen, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. A strip of the designer series paper. We're going to glue that in the bottom, bottom corner. My favorite way to do the insert of a card is just strip of designer series paper. And then you have room to write your message. Okay. And that can be glued in. Yeah, I gotta get cracking on my my crochet. Or I'm not gonna have enough stock. Ooh, I could show you the earrings that I've recently made. Okay, so Halloween is coming up. And I make Christmas spiders. So I thought, well, why not make some spider Halloween earrings? So 
And of course, I made them in my favorite color, black and turquoise. It kind of matches my tattoo. How fun are those? And I know a lot of people are not going to like them. People, you know, have arachnophobia, but I think they are adorable. And I can't wait to start wearing them to work, like, the month of October. Way cool. Way cool. If you're afraid of spiders, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Aren't they cute? I love them. Anyway, so we're just going to glue down our DSP. Oh, I like that side, too. But we're going to use the other side. Because we're going to add the calendar. And then we're going to add a poinsettia. Poinsettia, poinsettia, however you want to say it. I say poinsettia, but okay. So there's that. This, I believe, is two inches high by four inches wide, and then this is two and a quarter inches high. So the same width, but a quarter of an inch higher. And I think I'm going to put that, do I want that in the middle, or do I want it down here a little bit? Let's offset it a little bit. Why not? Okay. And I made the spiders in a bunch of different colors. So, but mostly black with a little, little hints of red or black with little hints of orange because I want them to definitely be like Halloween-ish. And some people, you know, there, so there's some people out there that are more into Halloween than some people are into Christmas, so. And like I said, we're, we're mid-September already, so time is ticking. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's cut out our flower next. And I'm just going to do one flower. And I thought cherry cobbler would be a nice um, mix. So let's grab the stamps here. Whoops. Because I knew the other two cards were going to be fairly quick, I didn't want to. I didn't want to prep everything for this card because I wanted the live to be at least, you know, an hour long. So, big flower. We're going to go in full strength, and then the small flower. I think I want to go in. I want to stamp off first, and then go in. Like that. Okay, so let me just. I'm going to die cut these out. I'm going to try to do it at the same time. What did I do with my dies? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, right in front of my face. Okay, so we need, we need that die, and I haven't decided if I was going to add any holly leaves. We'll see what the flower looks like on here first. Okay, so that's for that. And there's one flower that has a little bit of a curve to it, so that's probably the... I'm going to cut these out separately, because I think if I try to do them both at once, it's not going to line up. That one. 
Yeah, these can be a little tricky to line up, but this is why I usually do my die cutting and then I stamp with my stamparatus. I find it so much faster, but for the sake of this live, we'll just do it this way. Okay, so there's my flower. So let's bring this back here. So I'm gonna set this out of the way so I don't get it dirty. Bring back my scrap paper. So I was thinking, and I have not, like I said, I have not made this in advance or anything like that. So. I think I want to do my numbers. Did I grab my... I think I want to do my numbers in Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to do these in red. Um, with just Cherry Cobbler. And... I'm thinking, I want to, I maybe want to stamp Merry Christmas up top. Merry Christmas, the days of the week, the numbers, and then maybe just another little Christmas sentiment down here. So, I'm looking for it. I always go to the stamp set, even though it's retired, because the sentiments are small. And I'm going to have my flower down here. I just want a little saying down here. Um, oh, I thought there was a small Merry Christmas on here. I guess there's not. What do we have for, see I think that one's too big, all these are too big, well we have December, let's do December on the top, okay, December. So we're going to put December, the days of the week, and then the numbers. So, and I just want to do, I want to do Evening Evergreen, I want to do Cherry Cobbler. We could pull in Pear Pizzazz because there's a light green in the DSP. So, let's do... Let's do December in Pear Pizzazz. Let's do that. And I'm just gonna, uh, hopefully it's straight. Pretty good. Um, we're gonna do Days of the Week in Cherry Cobbler. Again, hope that it's straight. It's a little crooked, but I ain't cutting this out again. Okay. And then, the days of the week. So, there's 31 days in December. 
and I looked it up ahead of time. The first is on a Thursday. So, I'm going to want to stamp like that. Okay, and the thing I like about this set is, is the pad is as wide as what you need to stamp. So, 31 days, so I need this side. I need the one. And this is photopolymer, I should be using a, a foamy sheet, but I'm not. Oh, let's see, I don't even know if that's... I'm going to stamp on scrap paper first. I think it's a good idea. I definitely don't want to mess this up. Okay, so try this again. So we're going to go like that. So the first, ooh, I almost messed it up. The first is on Thursday, Heather. Okay. So. So the first is on a Thursday. Okay, so. I need to ink. Four to the three, okay. And oh, look at all that ink I got on there. It's because I don't use my evening evergreen very often. Look, it's still. Oh, I hope this is not a disaster. Okay, the first is on a Thursday, so the four. It's just because my ink pad is so inky. That's all. That's why. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So. I'm going to have a flower down here. I'm going to pop that up. I kind of want it just a little Christmas saying here. So if we have to move that over, we can move that over. Um, itty bitty Christmas. Let's see what we have that will fit down there. From our house to yours would fit nicely. Thinking of you at Christmas, let's see if that'll fit. That's a cute little sentiment. And what color do I want to do that? I'm running out of blocks here. Um, let's do that in I think in pear pizzazz. See, that fits in there nicely. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So, I think we're going to add some dotage because, I don't know, I just want to break it up a little bit. But I want it to be very, very faint. So. I'm looking at my DSP. I'm going to do gray granite. Gray granite. And I'm going to stamp off. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Just 
just a little bit. There. I say that's it, but then I go in again. Yeah. It just needed to be a little bit added to it. Okay, so this is gonna. Hmm. I might have to pop this up. Actually, I might just add dimensionals to the top. And glue them on the bottom. Because that, I got two layers of paper down there, so. I think that will work just fine. Yeah, this is a set I've only used like a couple times. And it already carried over from the mini into the annual, so the chances of it carrying over again are probably pretty slim. Okay, so I'm going to put it right about there like that. I'm going to glue this flower down and then I'm going to pop up pop up this piece. And then, um, we'll add bling bling. What do I have for bling bling? Get some of this out of the way here. Oops. So, I think I want to use something that. I have these iridescent rhinestone jewels. Fine sparkled adhesive back gems. Mm. Definitely not those. Definitely not those. I have the holiday rhinestones. Basic jewels. So, what I'm going to do, actually, do I have any plain rhinestones? I have a new pack not open. Because I think what I want to do is add a rhinestone to the center of my flower. So, or we could add like three little ones, like group them like a little, like that. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do for the embellishments. Just add the two center of my flower. Yeah. Three cards done. Okay, so let me put this away and we'll bring back the other cards. I have to sip of my coffee. Okay. Card number three. I like this. I love how this turned out. So we just stamped her. Oh, I know what we forgot to do. We forgot to circle the 25th. That's a pretty important step, don't you think? So there's a little circle stamp in the set. 
So I'm just going to stamp that in the cherry cobbler. And then we're going to go over the 25th like that. Got to have the 25th circled. There, now this card is done. So, I did bring in a retired uh, stamp set because I wanted a small sentiment in the bottom corner. Um, I really like how this card turned out. So card number three. Card number two, we use the um, we used oh my gosh, I just had it. Okay, so we used the no, we did not use that. Oh, because I put it in my drawer, duh. So we used uh, Beauty of Friendship and then the sentiment came from True Beauty. We used Just Because. So we just stamped the tree, we used the scallop contour dies, and we used a banner. I heat embossed the sentiment on Night and Navy, and then we just added a strip of designer series paper to the inside. Card number two. Okay, card number one, uh, I used retired celebration paper from last year. Um, the sentiment came from the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. Scallop contour dies. Um, and then I just layered the designer series paper. I ran it through the um, painted textured 3D embossing folder. And then we just added a strip of the designer series paper. So that was card number one. If I had to do this card over again, I wouldn't use this. I would use like a really thin ribbon. Or I would change it to linen thread. Something that's not so thick. But other than that, I like it a lot. I mean, I'm sure this will settle down after a bit. But those are the three cards for this week. I don't know if I'll get my Stampin' Up! order before next Thursday, but if I do, we'll use the we'll use the tea bundle next week, if I get it in time. I'll probably go live next Thursday at the same time. I'll try to keep it Thursday nights if I can. Um, I, I would like to, to do the same day every week. Um, so if you're watching the replay on YouTube, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow me. And thank you for joining me. Uh, we had June, we had Jen, and we had Kathy. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, Melanie. I see your little icon. How are you? Thank you. I really, really, I think I might make a couple more, more of these. Thank you. Because um, I have not used the calendar set hardly at all. And I think it would make some nice Christmas cards. I do, I do, I do. All right, so I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Bye.